the Suzuki conglomerate has made some of the most legendary motorcycles in history. Engineering the Hayabusa in 1999, the fastest motorcycle of the 20th century. However, where rivals Honda and BMW share their badges with extremely successful four-wheeled offerings, Suzuki's car has been lacking in a lot of departments. Sure, the Cappuccino K car, the Alto Works Turbo, and Jimny are all pretty cool offerings. Suzuki lags behind its more powerful and noticeable Japanese competitors. For one, they never had a Halo car like the Supra, NSX, RX-7, or Skyline. Secondly, their passenger cars never reached the same quality as Hondas or Toyotas, or popularity for that matter. All of these shortcomings forced Suzuki to leave the hyper-competitive US market in 2013. Now, Suzuki's models were never really something to write home about, but one model that seemed to pick up a cult following is the Escudo, marketed in the US as either the Suzuki Sidekick or Geo Tracker. The car was a hit among the adventurous, outdoors, and beach crowd, allowing Suzuki and then partner GM to turn a profit. One day, Suzuki decided to design a hipper, beach-oriented version of the Sidekick Vitara platform, which became the Suzuki X90. Fitted with the 95 horsepower, 1.6 liter single overhead cam, four cylinder, it was undoubtedly slow, but upgrading to a four wheel drive model made it into a quite the constant beach crawler. Complete with two seats, T tops, adequate trunk space, rounded body lines, and a cool 90s color palette, Suzuki figured this vehicle is what the youth wanted, but they couldn't be more wrong. The X90 was blasted for being an ugly, slow, less practical version of the Suzuki Vitara. It was placed on many worst cars lists, and by 1997, the X90 was dead after only three model years. But as time moved on, we start to see that the press might have been a little harsh on the little X90. The car looks cooler and cooler the further we move away from the 90s, and it really does exemplify car styling of that decade. I hope a hip young couple out there buys one, and takes it out on a lovely date out in the beach sands of Obscurial.